All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back here today to talk about the new and improved streaming capabilities of Discord voice chat. So previously, I showcased the fact that you can stream your games to your friends and what that looks like. But what I didn't show you is that now it's possible like you do when you're sharing a direct message with somebody where you can video chat, you can actually stream just anything on your computer desktop as well by just clicking on the go live feature down here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So when you get connected to a voice channel, let me just demonstrate. When I jump into the recording layer channel and I get connected, I have two buttons here in the lower left hand corner. I've got the disconnect button, which disconnects me. And then I've got the go live button. If I click on the go live button, it actually lets me stream pretty much any window or program that I have open on my computer. So if for some reason you boot up a game and it's not getting detected properly by discord, you can go ahead and grab, you know, put it into windowed mode, just click on the go live button that you can see down here and then just find the window that you want to stream, click on it and click go live. And that in and of itself is going to allow you to stream whatever. For an example, I'm streaming the footage of my Premiere Pro where I'm editing my Animal Crossing video for tomorrow. And this allows me to show people how I do things. If I wanted to do like a one on one educational thing to show you how I edit stuff in Premiere. And it can also let you do like movie sharing if you really wanted to do that or just dinking around on your computer doing art and just streaming art and other stuff to one another, especially right now during the coronavirus outbreak. This is a very handy tool to share stuff both remotely with work groups and between friends who just want a game. Now, if I go ahead and click on this, the, we got a couple options inside of the streaming. If I go down to the stream settings, much like when you're streaming a game, you have the ability to change the streaming quality and change the frame rate while you're streaming. If you want something better than just basic 720p quality and 30 frames per second, you'll need to pay for Discord Nitro. <coughs> this will actually give you access to 60 frames per second, 1080p quality, and also source quality. Source quality for the dimensions or like the aspect ratio or the resolution is going to be whatever you're currently running on your computer. So if your computer is running at 4K or 8K, you could, in theory, stream that with the source quality if your connection can handle it. My connection's kind of poopy, so I'm probably going to dump it down to 480 and click Submit. And then if people are currently watching your broadcast, you'll see that on the lower portion of the screen down here, and you can invite people to watch. And they've got to be in the same voice channel as you in order to click on your icon here, hover over it, I should say, and click on the streaming button to pop into your stream and to see what's going on. And during all of this, you can still pop out and like interact in text channels too. It'll put your stream in this movable box that you can move around here to the corners of the screen. And you can end this by clicking on this button that says stop streaming at any time or double click on it and click the stop streaming button right here. So let me go ahead and boot up a game and I'll show you what it looks like when you want to stream a game to your friends. So when you boot up a game, like the example I have here of Stardew Valley, this should allow Discord to detect the game that you're running so that you can click on this button right here, stream Stardew Valley, <coughs> and this will allow you to start streaming to the channel of your choice. If you don't want to stream the automatically detected game, when you click on this button, you can click this button right here to change it, and you can go through whatever this mess is down here, Origins web browser. Um, you can 
scroll through all your other open active programs in Windows and grab the one that you actually want to stream. But for the most part, if you want the game to show up that it's available to stream a very specific game so that when you click on this and say go live, it says, hey, you're streaming Stardew Valley. It has to auto detect it on your computer or else you'll have to select it manually and just hope that people jump in to see what you're streaming. And when you're not currently tabbed into the game, it actually pauses the stream so as not to waste bandwidth when you're tabbed out, not doing anything with the game. So if I move this over here, yeah, I guess you can't properly see this preview, but um, when your game is currently running and you're tabbed in, it should play here for everybody else. And the same rules apply. You can change the streaming quality here. You can invite people to watch it. They have to be in the same channel as you to watch it and click on this button right here. And then if you wanna stop it, you can click on the stop streaming button. Or if you're in another channel, you can just click on this little X next to a picture of a monitor to do the same thing. So it's really easy to stream to your friends in Discord right now during the coronavirus thing. Discord has expanded the default number of people that can share a stream room together and watch a stream together to like 50. So there's no reason why you shouldn't take full advantage of this feature. And later I'm going to show you how you can turn any pair of channels in Discord into a live video chat room by simply having everybody click on one simple link. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. This has been another Discord voice chat tutorial. If you have any questions or comments about what I've covered here in the video, throw those down in the comment section. I always try to help as many people as I can. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Do the likey, subscribey thing. Hit the little bell icon on the subscribe button so you always get notified when I post a video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.